Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Church Mag and I have another unprogrammed article for you guys. If you've never experienced any of these videos within the unprogrammed series, you get five minutes, talk about anything within church technology that we're passionate about and leave the whole thing unedited. So here we go. This one's a bit of a rant, so hold on to your seats for a second. I wanna to talk to you guys about the idea of exploiting versus crafting a message. The idea of creating content versus exploiting something. So there's a lot of different things you can do digitally. You can have podcasts, you can have blog articles, you can do social media. And for a lot of people, and this isn't a Christian thing, this is just in general, everybody wants to do this, of jumping on the bandwagon. They wanna get their brand out there, they wanna be seen. They wanna do this thing called getting viral for whatever reason no matter what the cost. And I think a lot of people within the church say that this is a great marketing tactic because they wanna be able to get their message out there. They want to be able to get seen. And for me, here's the problem with this. I think that the idea of exploiting versus crafting is a huge debate. And I think it's something that goes within the morals and ethics of a situation. Now, I don't wanna to get too deep into it because I got five minutes to rant on this, but basically the idea of, there's a lot of churches out there that say, okay, a pastor just got in trouble. A family, a Christian, a well-known Christian family just got in trouble. So I'm going to blog on the topic. I'm going to write a social media comment. Even though I don't know the family, I don't even live in the state or go to that church. I've never even interacted with that. I don't watch the television show or the online streams. I don't even follow the person on social media. But you know what? I have an opinion and for some reason I think you need to hear about it. And it's not because I think I'm a know-it-all because in the article I'll be very humble and say, you know what, I really don't know this situation, but here's some general ideas about it that's really important. But they're doing it because they want to exploit a situation to be able to bring the message to what's going on. For other people, they create a BuzzFeed type of an article where they, they end the title of it as, you won't believe what happened next. Really, you don't believe what happens next because if not, then I'm not gonna read it because I just don't wanna believe it. For me, they have to sensationalize the title to be able to get the viewers into it because the content just is not good enough. And so we spend all this time trying to create this buzzwords, these abilities to get people onto our pages that we stop thinking about the content. And it really concerns me, especially within the Christian community because then we say, okay, I read this article and someone got a lot of traffic off of it and I think that that's important because these other articles I wrote are really important to me and so I'm going to write about this topic to get the traffic here so they'll eventually read these other articles too. Just not how it works. Because as soon as you write about that one thing that is exploiting a situation, for me, you just already changed your brand a little bit. Not even for yourself, not even for your church, but you're starting to do it for the church. And for me, the, the church capital C, the, the faith of Christianity. And so if I'm someone that doesn't believe in Christianity and I see, oh, those people are kind of just bragging on each other within a theological understanding, they don't really know what they are talking about, there's no community there, that for me is a difficult thing. And so this idea of exploiting, of taking what is happening, being controversial for the sake of controversial, that is so stupid. You don't understand how stupid that is. I love the idea of having iron sharpens iron, but for a purpose, people. And so this idea of just trying to exploit a situation for me is a sinful act. It's for me this one thing where we say, okay, we are taking the ethics out of our own journalism, of our own blogging, of our own ability to be Christians, saying let's throw that out and let's just try to get traffic to our website. Because I need a little bit of money to be able to pay for this hosting because I'm doing something that God has called me to do. I call BS on that. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say because crafting content, being able to create something is tough enough, but if all we're going to do is try to exploit situations so that our other content gets seen, we're really just kind of watering the entire process down. So if you guys kind of have a pushback for this, I'd love to hear. Let's keep it appropriate. I don't want to have an argument. I want to have a good conversation about this, but I think that it's important to recognize that sometimes we're willing to compromise whatever we need to because of the gospel. The ends justify the means. I completely disagree with that thought. So leave you guys comments below. Talk to you guys next time.